So with over 50 jumping spots, we'll jump right into it. Here's one of the first ones at Bio. Obviously, there's so many different jumping spots, but they're either not practical or you wouldn't really use them, or maybe they're just way too difficult to do. Um, so you got jump spot two. Here's another one. Three, you kind of could just walk out on this edge. This one's not necessarily practical, but it could catch somebody off guard if maybe they're on the heady uh, right at the middle of this AC. They're kind of looking at that door. Kind of change the angle, and it makes it so you kind of have a little bit of a head glitch instead of just running out in front of the door. So pretty straightforward there. We have this one, which is pretty cool. Here's the first hop up. You jump up. This gets you to this level, and then there's two hop ups that we'll be able to showing off here. One is to the right here. You can get on this roof. So instead of taking the ladder, you have an alternative way, jumping off of something, and then the opposite side works just the same. Now we're down at Harbor, which has a ton of jumping spots. Obviously, get on this roof. That's not necessarily a huge jump or anything like that, but you can come up these windows on the second story. You can kind of come up this side, climb through, and you'll be able to mantle into the window there. And we got jump number eight, pretty much the same thing from the opposite side. And then probably a little bit more useful only if the loadout drops up top is getting up on top of this building pretty straightforward harbor on this building you can kind of jump up this left side or i guess the front side you can go ahead and jump up on the roof here come up a different angle and that allows you to get in the window you can actually walk across this little catwalk whatever you want to call it you're able to get back in the window there's multiple different angles you can approach somebody there um, over at security there's basically this jump three or four different times because all these buildings are copy of paste from verdansk then we got control. There are a few that are just very impractical, but we're going to focus on main ones that you'll probably use in a match. Kind of allows you to get up and down, navigate this little top area. You can also go across here and then you'll be able to come up on top. Just got to be aware that people at prison or from the sniper tower aren't watching you. Uh, you can mantle up here. There's also, you could jump across this gap. So pretty straightforward there. You can come up through here. You can actually drop down. You can also go into the window uh, on that section too. So if you want to go up here, you can go up here. You can peek this, jump to the other one, or you can peek that window. So there's a lot in that area. Straightforward. This is probably the one you see most used often around prison. You could drop in from the bottom or from the top. You'll be able to come across. And then even though this one's pretty straightforward, this is kind of what you're looking at. You're able to mantle up. If you want to get into this building here, you could just kind of go through this window or the one right next to it. So you can get in that second story anywhere in prison. There's a lot of these little boxes. You could just jump up so you don't have to take any of the stairs. This little hop up is a little convenient. There's so many ways to get on this little side roof, get into this little building. There's so many like useful ones. You could jump up here. There's another one where you can get into here as well, depending on how you want to do it. Come through, go up the ladder. This area is probably one of the most useful because it's so hot with people here. Um, you can go into the window, you could jump up, you could jump up here, and then you go up to the top. So you got a lot of little jumping, moving spots around the area. This is probably one of my more favorites, is to jump across to Nova, down low, come through. Um, you can actually jump off here and go into this window. You don't have to break the glass beforehand, you can hop up here as well. So the, the, that one's probably easier to do than the other side one, a little less vulnerable. You can come through here, jump through, you could jump up, and then this will also gives you two different locations. So you could either come through, or you could actually jump up through the back way. Pretty practical. Jump up on here, you can actually come through here. This is probably the most straightforward way. Most people kind of understand that. You could even get another peek here if you didn't want to be so obvious. Um, you can also jump up on the roof. Um, if you want to take a different angle at somebody, maybe if somebody's over here, um, they'd be pre-aiming that. I don't know. It's kind of weird how you would use this one, but you can also run across and then mantle up on this section here instead of getting caught in the ladder. It gives you up here. You are going to be in a manual animation, so you are aware of that, but it is significantly faster than climbing that ladder. Um, this one's a pretty straightforward one that a lot of people tend to use, so pretty well known pretty easy this one is a little bit more challenging i've actually seen this one done in game i've never actually done it in game um but i, I was able to pull this one off as a demonstration you come across it kind of auto mantles for you um and then you're able to do this one this one's also another wonky one where maybe not as practical but it does allow you to get in that building you might want to watch that one back it's a little tricky over here at decon there's a bunch where you just kind of mantle up here and then you jump up to the side and then you jump back up so there's a lot of those little hop-ups. Um, also inside here, there's a lot of these lamps all the way across with a little shelf. Uh, pretty much you just jump on the shelf, 
jump on the lamp, and then you can jump up the railing. And those are kind of like the main practical ones over here. This one, if you're getting pushed, you could actually go up here and get a different line of sight. Obviously, you're going to be exposed from all the way up the top. But if somebody was pushing around, they might not expect you to be on the top. And then you could jump up over the top of them um, like you're doing some wrestling move. This wall, instead of jumping to the right, um, this wall, you can't jump it without jumping on first this ledge. And then you're able to come across. You can jump on top of the vehicle. This will allow you to get in to the top of this little building at shore. And then we come all the way across and there's multiple jump spots. So for this one, living quarters has so many. So you can kind of come through here. This is probably the straightforward, easier ones to do. Come through, you can go ahead and go up the ladder, up this side. A lot of these buildings you could hop across. I didn't think they were warranted putting like 17 more jumping spots, but a lot of these you can jump across. A lot of these you can do the ladder trick. A lot of these you can drop down into the window. Um, and those are pretty straightforward. So same thing here, you could jump across. And then also finessing in this building, you could jump down, jump around, and you can actually jump into the window here. You can actually cut across and you can jump out through here and kind of throw people off. You just gotta be aware from the people on the left, you're not gonna get shot over there. You can have a mantle across, come around, and they will not be expecting that. If they were chasing you, you get in there, you can loop around, and then you can do it the opposite way as well. So pretty straightforward, 55 jumping spots for you guys, so you guys can go ahead and try those out for yourself. Hopefully there's a new one in there that maybe you didn't expect. Appreciate the support on the content. Thank you for watching, as always. Have a great day.